This is really neat. Rick? Yes. Okay. Is my dog already down there? God. <laughs> Bob, Bob's built him another shop in the basement. Holy cow, you know how heavy this stuff is? Oh my goodness, how did you even get it all down here? This is a man cave. All you guys that think you have man caves, uh-uh. <laughs> this is a man cave. He's got it in the basement. Holy cow. Three drill presses, though, Bob. Do you really I need three? I don't yes. need three of them. Oh, <laughs> he likes drill presses. But I need wow. one. Wow. There's a drill bit hanging up on the wall. See that? Oh, wow. Look at that, folks. i got to get my hand over there for comparison. Inch that is a, a huge inch and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Most people would use a hole saw for that. <laughs> Depends on what you're drilling. He's got all his stuff for his lathes. And... Wow. Metal cutting bandsaw. You make just about whatever you need, don't you? Well, I do. <laughs> wow. This is cool. I'm glad I came out here. Just, just seeing this stuff is cool. I can do precision metal cutting with that saw. I've done jobs you'd have to do this? A, on a milling machine. I've been able to do with that saw. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. I guess I better go look at the uh, scout. We're going to go scout the scout. Well, Murphy's Law. He's got <laughs> Murphy's Law. Murphy was an optimist. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was looking at this. I've never seen one of those. A Murphy's Law thing like that. Do you mind if I film your poster there? Anything, um, anything you want to do. Right on. Murphy was an optimist. No good deed goes unpunished. Leak proof seals will. Self starters will not. Interchangeable parts won't. There is always one more bug. Nature is a mother. Don't mess with Mrs. Murphy. 90% of everything is crud. If you're feeling good, don't worry, you'll get over it. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. All warranties expire upon payment of invoice. Where you stand on an issue depends on where you sit. Never eat prunes when you are famished. Friends come and go, but enemies accumulate. That's the truth. If you try to please everybody, nobody will like it. A shortcut is the longest distance between two points. Holy cow, I'm just going to film the rest of this. You always find something in the last place you look. The chance of a piece of bread falling with the buttered side down is directly proportional to the cost of the carpet. No matter how long or hard you shop for an item, after you've bought it, it will be on sale somewhere cheaper. No one's life, liberty, or property are safe while the legislature is in session. I'm just going to leave off with that. That's very appropriate for today. Holy what cow. Here's your scout, Bob. What the heck is it? 79. 56. 79. 79. The GMC is a 55. This is a. I'm not. I'm not an expert on these. All the dope was on the door post here. Over here. Okay. On the passenger side. Huh. Okay. So I know they have a different name for the pickup version. What is that? This is a Terra. A what? A Terra. Terra. This is the most expensive one they made. Okay. Come on over here and All right. open the Looks door. Looks like original upholstery in there. Open the door up. I don't want to hit the pretty one. And, uh, oh, yeah, I see it. ID plate. It says 10676. Okay. It's got a real good running engine on it. Oh, really? I've hauled many heavy loads of wood. 
Dickens. How many miles do you think it has on it? 120 or 20? Well, it would be 120. Okay. All right. Automatic. Everything looks to be present inside here. Uh, aftermarket that, that cassette plus, deck. Well, the torque flight transmission, same as they put in these big motor homes. Yeah. All right. When was the last time you had it running, Bob? Let me feel the bottoms of the doors. Take a look at the license plate on it. But the bottoms of the doors feel kind of solid to me. Uh, uh, 09. So, not as long as the other one. <laughs> you did get it fired up uh, just for a couple seconds. It wasn't getting enough gas, so the motor's not frozen. Okay. I have a friend, Bob, uh, he lives in eastern Oregon out by, like, Bend, uh -huh. and all he does is international trucks. He likes to make them look like when they were brand new. So when I find an old international, I call him. I find it's good to stick to one thing and not spread yourself too thin. Well, look, the drive works great on it, no problems. Okay. What's the funniest thing you ever did with this thing, Bob? Funny story. No, I haven't done much of anything with it except haul a lot of firewood. With yeah, Gail. What, what did you do that you didn't get in trouble for that it's okay to confess? I broke axles and tore up the rear end in the old Scout. And, uh, Not in this one. And then I found a heavier duty rear end at a junkyard, and so I didn't tear up the rear end anymore. <laughs> She drove that scout all the time like it was her. She yeah. just drove it to school. <laughs> just loved that little thing. Yeah. One of my grandsons has it now. That was a little 67 scout. Sport top. Yeah, that new grill is worth more than a truck. It does. It has a new grill in the box. Oh, you have a new grill for it. Brand new all right. in the box. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Uh, oh, okay. You have to pull it from inside and it, and it goes up this way. Oh. Brake release. Is it under the dash or on the dash? Yeah, I'll show you. I know nothing about the internationals. This here I'll pull up. Oh, okay. You want me to get that up? Here. Works pretty hard, but it okay, works. Okay, it went. Yep. It works. Uh, oh, nobody home in Floorland. Got some rust in it. Yeah. I think they all do, don't they, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Looks like all the stuff's here, and they said they got it fired up by putting some gas down it. So, um, it does have rusty floors, but I don't know. This stuff under here, the inner fenders and stuff, look pretty good. The firewall doesn't have any holes in it. 304 engine. 304, yeah, I had a Javelin that had a 304 in it. AMC Javelin. I wonder what's. Did this have AC at one time? No? Air conditioning? Yeah. No, it, no didn't. it didn't. But it looks like something mounted over there. Well, power steering, power brakes. Power brakes. Yep. But it also had a smog pump. Yeah. Oh, so that's probably what this bracket was for. This, this came from Alaska. Yeah. And the junkyards up there are all full of <laughs> equipment like this. The bracket, if you notice, I've got a chain over there. Some more of it over here. Okay. The, the bracket for the power steering pump is broken. Oh, okay. So, so I've made it usable by using a chain and a ton, turnbuckle on it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see the chain down there. And it works very well. Okay. It's one, one job I've been going to do is take that off and Weld it up, put it back. But I want you to see that so 
you don't want these yeah these. that's all right it, it's it's old when you know people kind of expect it to have some issues um it does have a lot of a lot of rust but i've seen them uh bring them back from farther a terra international scout terra pickup truck yeah she needs quarters I don't know it seemed like the bottoms of the doors were pretty solid to me though and yeah the floors are I don't feel any holes down there I'm not getting down there because my back still hurts sorry Ben well, I put a, put a 9 gauge floor in this one too yeah I saw that looks pretty good around the windshield huh yep. yeah and the firewall uh, you'll have to take a closer look at it Ben my back's starting to hurt <laughs> there's a shackle in there for loading I saw that that's for loading machinery gonna come along on that yeah and I've hauled anchor point yeah Quite a few things of machinery with this. All right. Well, I sure appreciate you showing me around, Bob. That was nice of you. No. I really like your shop and your your basement man cave. That's pretty cool. I like that name. That name, man cave. Man cave. Yeah, <laughs> I like that name. Oh. Stay out. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that on my daughter. Yeah, get out of my man cave. Put it, put my stuff back. <laughs> All right, well, what an honor that was. What I love about what I do is I meet some of the coolest people. And that Bob, huh? 99 years old. I told Bob I want to come to his next birthday party. Anyways, what a neat guy in his. Oh man, his shop and just the look. I wish I could share the smell of those old tools and just the, I don't, it, you can't explain it. You can't explain it, but there is a smell to a really old shop that a heck of a lot of work's been done in that just isn't like anything else. And, uh, and the work that he did on that 55 GMC, making those, do you know how much time he must have put into making those hubs? Wow. And uh, did a great job of widening those fenders. Uh, I did reach an agreement with Bob on that old truck. And uh, I didn't have the money, to be honest with you, to just outright buy it. But I did lock it in. And uh, Bob's going to give me a month to be, get back there and get it. And uh, I'll take the engine and the tranny and all that stuff out of his shop. I've got a buddy, Ben Palmer. He's been on my channel before. 406 Garage, something like that. Anyways, Ben Palmer, good dude. And uh, I'm comfortable with sending him over to Bob's because he's a straight shooter. And he loves his internationals. I think he'll like that scout. It's kind of a rare. It had some issues, rust issues, but they had a lot going for it. I mean, it was all there, and it was a unique color. I you don't see them that. I don't know, like seafoam green or whatever. But I really enjoy what I do. It's days like today, and meeting guys like Bob. It's, I was so honored to meet my friend George Griffith, a lot of my old viewers know about. I used to go visit him all the time. I love these old guys that served in World War II. And you know, how many people even get to meet somebody that served in World War II? You know, and, I, and I've met, uh, well, two, but it's just an honor, a heck of an honor to be able to hang out with a guy like that and, and to get something that he built you know, with his hands and fabricated and just a great day. I'm gonna stop and get me a chicken strip, folks. Share it with Annabella. She was a pretty good little truck inspector today.